Okay, so the first thing that you guys have to determine when building this topo model is which direction the topos are. Okay, so you guys are going to have to correlate the heights of things. So I'm going to look at this one, and I'm going to I see this big fat line, right? These big fat lines are called index contours. All right, so on on his plan right here, I'm going to mark this one as 1400 because that's what this is right here. You see that line that goes through there? There's his site, and there's that line going through there. Okay. So then the next thing I need to determine is, is this up or is this up? Right? Because this, this could be going this direction or it could be going this direction. Correct? All right. So I'm going to do a little bit of investigation here. And what I'm going to find is that 1390 is down lower. And so 1390 is off of my page. But... This one and this one, right, are on my page. And so from this, from analyzing this, by looking at this drawing over here, by looking at this drawing, I'm able to tell that this is going up this direction. Okay, does that make sense? The other thing that I can do is go to this plan over here, right, not this plan, but move those and let me grab this. I can look at this topo model right here, and I'll set it in the same orientation, okay, and this little drawing is right here. So by holding this drawing here, I can say, oh yeah, this is going downhill this way. Becomes very important that you go through those steps, or what will end up happening is, is that you'll be one of those unfortunate students that instead of going down here, you go up here, and now you end up with, you know, this ridge looking thing which is not what's there, okay? So I'll put that back right there and put the pin through it. I'm gonna move this away over to this side. Okay, so now I've determined that. So what I think I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna ask you all to do, is I'm gonna ask you to figure out what each, how much elevation each of these contours represents, okay? So, Let's see, two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten. So from 1400 to 1390 is 10, right? So each of these contour lines represents two feet. So if this is 1400, what's this one? What's 1400 minus two? 1398, and this one is 1396. Right? That would make this one what? 1402. And this one? 1404. All right, now I've got this one piece over here. Anybody want to take a guess at that one? Well, it could be going down. Like this could be going up, and that could start to turn into a valley, right? We don't know if that's going up or down, so now we've got to defer and look at the, we, we can deduce what that one's doing by looking at the map. You'll notice that on the map, that little point that's right there, I can find it. It's right here. And now if I follow that around, you'll see that that's actually going up, and that's 1402. So for, by looking at this drawing, I'm able to determine that this is 1402. So now I've got all of my contour elevations figured out by looking at this drawing. Okay? If you do not go through this step and you just start cutting, you will end up probably making a mistake. Sites A and B are a little bit more, require a little bit more thinking than sites B, D, and C. But you can still build C and D backwards. And that'll be a problem because then you'll end up having to rebuild it. Okay, any questions about this so far? No? All right, so what I'm going to do is I've got all of the sheets that he made. And I'm going to take this sheet right here. And I'm going to kind of um, 
kind of mark on it. This is the corner of my site, and this is the corner of my site. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line those corners up. I'm going to move all of I'm going to move all the sheets but one out of here. Take that over there. Okay, so if you notice that lines up pretty close to you know evenly. So if I if I were to cut this off, you would see that it would line up with the edge of the board there. Okay, so your lowest level is going to be one entire sheet, but you kind of got to know where the other one is that you're going to put over it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil and you are going to pop little holes right along that line. Okay. And that's going to tell you where the next level up is. Okay. So you can see it clearly there. It's delineated. If you want to, you can mark it if you want. So now I'm going to move that up that way, and I'm going to get up another sheet. Now, this next sheet, I need to actually cut along that line. So now I'm going to take that one, lay this on top of it. And someone didn't do a real neat job of cutting these. So, all right. So now, for this one, I need, to, I need to cut this line, so I'm going to poke all these holes, all right? So same holes, I'm going to poke them all over again. And I need to know where the next level up aligns, so I'm going to poke holes there also. So you notice that I marked the one I'm cutting and the one above. All right? Move that off to the side and we get a knife now. All right, so you need a pretty sharp knife to do this, and you need to make sure that you don't cut the boards that you're cutting on a mat. So all I'm going to do is cut with a, a sharp, fresh blade. I'm going to cut along the first line that I made here. Okay? I'm not going to throw this away because I might be able to use it for something later. So there's this piece. Now watch. Remember I made these marks on this sheet? If I put this on the bottom, and I put this one over it, I can line one thing up to it, and there's the two lined up. Okay. All right. So now I go to the next sheet. And the next sheet, I'm going to let you do. All right. So the next sheet is going to be a matter of just poking these holes and then the next one up from it. And then those should line up with these holes that I made here. And you keep going up until you have the hills made. Okay. Is there any questions? Okay, hey, here's one thing that's very important to me. I'm going to give you time right now in class to start doing this. Before you start cutting, I want you to verify that you are sure by looking at this site and by marking all of the contour elevations on your large drawing. Okay? I don't want anybody making a mistake this time. All right? Any questions? Yes? Um, when I mark 402... Would I mark 402 over here on the same board? Yes. Okay. Well, no. At some point, you're going to have to start ending up with leftovers, right? So you don't, you didn't, you you only brought in five sheets, right? Five pieces. So there's one, two, three, four, right? Five, and so you're going to run out before you get to the last one. So you will have to, you'll have to cut pieces out from somewhere else. Okay. That makes sense. All right, so I'm going to release you guys to go ahead and get started with this. Yours.